Hey guys, it's Amber and welcome to December Daily Day 4. I have got some pages in progress here I've been working on. Um, I'm going to be telling a story about my kittens kind of getting into the tree. Um, I have some really sweet photos of them here with, um, so this is my calico, they're brother and sister, so this is my calico tiger lily. She loves to sit at the bottom of the tree. In fact, we don't even put a tree skirt down because she would just bunch it all up and scratch at it. Um, so I, I took a picture of her like peeking from the branches kind of from above and I love the little twinkle lights in her eyes. So that's probably going to be my front photo here. And then I have a picture of my boyfriend with our cat Cypher sitting on his lap with the tree in the background. So that'll be on the back. And then I have some other photos of them here kind of checking out the tree. Here she, like, she was about to start gnawing on it. They don't mess with the ornaments, but they like to sit near it and they chew on it. Like, toddlers on chew toys. It's kind of funny. So I have this one and then uh, this one of Cypher sitting with the sweet little paws and just kind of looking at the tree. So I think I'm going to be putting that one here. And I'm going to be putting this one over here. I've been trying to do all spreads for my first few pages so far but my day five story is going to be just one simple photo so this will be a spread this will flip and then day five will be here and then i'll be able to do a spread again for day six because i have some ideas for that for today it's actually the sixth one i'm working on this so i have my number four and i went through a lot of my cards and i think i'm going to use this tag from the main kit no actually i'm sorry this was an add-on from Allie's uh december daily products in 2019. I'm probably going to punch this or like pop this little hole out that's already pre-cut. Um, but I chose this one because it has ornaments. The colors are kind of bright with some reds in there. Um, the other tags in this kit didn't really make sense for this layout. So my plan is to pair it with this six by eight photo here with these branches. And I'm not sure now if this was a Jasmine Jones card or if it was a Liz Tamanaha card from a few years back. But it's like kind of like black and white branches with like some little goldish specks. I've gone through and selected quite a few ornaments here. Um, or, you know, embellishments to act as ornaments. And I already did a lot of work here with my balance. I punched holes in them with my crocodile using the little one eighth hole. Um, so I'm going to be attaching the chipboard pieces. I have this little puffy uh, shaker sticker here from Crate Paper Mary Day's collection last year. This is um, a wooden star from the alley kit from years ago and I thought just to bring in a third bit of red I would back it with some paper. I was originally just going to put the wooden piece down by itself but I think I really like that with the red. Um, we have a metal piece. This is from 2017 with the cork pieces. This is from last one of the last year's chipboard add-ons. This is from this year's chipboard add-ons. Some paper die cuts from this year's add-ons. And then I just have some uh, plain white embroidery floss that I'm using. So I, I think I'm pretty happy with this. It's a little crowded, which I wanted it to be full looking. My original plan was to have the string go all the way to the top, but I don't think that's going to look right. And I was going to have it go all the way to the top and then tie a bow, but the bows just weren't looking good with the floss. So I think I'm just going to go with a simple little tied idea because they're going to be in a pocket anyway. And then on the back here, let me tuck this in here for now. I'm thinking about maybe tying something around here and hanging like a little tiny tag or something. I'm not quite sure exactly what I want to do to embellish that so it's not quite so plain. And on the back here, I haven't officially decided yet. I'm considering either doing like this pink or green tree card from Kelly Perky. Um, my photo for day, the other side of this is a gorgeous pink sunset photo from the other night. So I was thinking about pulling in the pink. I also have this green card, which is part of my story about the kittens messing with the tree all the time. This says, Santa, let me explain. It's really old. I'm not even sure who made that. But I'm not going to do anything with this side until I get the next photo printed and I see what the colors look like. So for now, I'm just going to leave it. But whichever one I choose, I will cut into this tag shape. So I'm going to get started attaching everything down here. This one's pretty simple and pretty much ready to go. And... Uh, I'm gonna pop you on fast forward. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start the process here of attaching all of these little tiny pieces to the paper. I'm not gonna 
show you the entire video. I did have my camera running the entire time, but I basically peeled all the extra layers of the chipboard off and I used almost all red line tape to attach everything. It was going to be in the page protector, but I just trusted it a lot more than rolling adhesive, especially with the exposed chipboard. Um, it worked a lot easier for the cork, especially, and the puffy sticker, which didn't really seem to have a ton of adhesive. Um, the stars, I just used the rolling adhesive and I put them on the edge and trimmed them off a little bit. But you can see here, I didn't want to redo the floss. So I just kind of peeled the chipboard and then cut along the edge there. So I'm getting ready to adhere my one of the last pieces here. And then my video actually did cut out, but I'm attaching that wooden star. And then just sliding everything into the pocket. And you can see where I'm like, you know, got it all centered and the stars have been trimmed. I really love the way that that came out. Then I'm going to get ready to start working on this, the right side of the page. I'm just peeling, I had already peeled the layers of the chipboard off the four, and I'm just adding some stickers there with a photo square cut up. I had meant to add something to it, but I ended up kind of forgetting about it, to be honest with you. And you can see here, I start to attach the photos together, and then I realized I had printed these before. I decided to do white borders and everything, so right as I was about to connect them, I realized, wait a second. I'm going to need to trim these. So not on camera, I went ahead and cut a four by six piece of white cardstock, trimmed the quarter inch each off of the photos sides, and then attached everything back together. So here I am just trimming the two cards for the next day back to back into that tag shape. I'm adding some of my green ribbon and my plan was to use my stapler and it actually jammed up on me. So it took me a while to get that fixed. And then I do go ahead and get the ribbon stapled into place, just keeps it from moving. Sometimes I'll use adhesive, but since this one's kind of sticking out of the pocket and could get pulled a little bit, I prefer just to use the tiny attacher from Tim Holtz. So there you can see after quite a while, it took me, to, I was able to get it unjammed and everything gets attached. And then I will start working on day five, which is super easy. I already had everything pretty much laid out for that. So I'm tucking it into the tag there. And here we are ready to go. So I did add some digital art. The Just Wow is from Carrie Bradford. And underneath it, it says like capturing December moments or something from a really old um, Ali Edwards digital set. So I added those before I printed, and I almost had to do no editing of this photo. I um, just brightened it a little bit because it was actually a little dark, but it was like these super stormy clouds. It never snowed, but it had been on the calendar, and like my entire drive home was like this vibrant, bright sunset that was showing through the clouds, but you couldn't actually see the sun, so it was cool, but I was driving at the time. Um, so that was like one of the best pictures I was able to get. But it was just a busy day at work. Nothing special was going on, so... There you can see I attached my number five and I actually hand wrote out my journaling and for the second time in this book I just wasn't happy with it so I went ahead and typed up some journaling. You can see I created a black frame there just so I would know where to print. I haven't figured out quite yet how to do crop marks when I'm adding a bunch of other photos to my paper because I went ahead and printed out this journaling card and my photos for day six all on the same sheet of paper. So I took that five on the right hand side of the screen there and I trimmed out the white part and then I'm just going to add that back onto the three by four white card and I printed that on just photo paper so it was really vibrant but uh, that was from like maybe the 2015 or the 2016 uh, Allie Edwards kit and I really liked it was like the perfect colors to go with my photo it kind of just matched the mood of it a little bit and it was really simple and clean it doesn't really match the rest of my album but this photo I couldn't have really gone with red and greens with it so uh, I really enjoyed using the pink it has snowflakes that's an old Jasmine Jones card and then that hexagon shaped December moments is from Allie's um I guess one of the die cut packs from this year. I'm not sure exactly which one it was. So there I'm grabbing some Gina K foam dots. They're a little thinner. I'm trying them out. I, I like the height of them, but I have to admit they're hard to get out of the package. I might have to just take the roll out of the box and they're kind of hard to get the backing off of. Um, I've been using American Crafts 
pop dots, which are really high and they're super easy to work with, but I wanted something that was more shallow. So I'm still deciding how I feel about it. I need to invest in a good foam tape and I just haven't found or ordered any yet. So I'm just adding that right into the center, popped up a little bit for dimension and, and putting everything back in the pocket. So I'm just going to leave you with some close up of my pages. And I want to thank you once again for watching my videos. Hit subscribe if you're interested in more inspiration. I've been really excited to work on my album kind of currently so far this year and keeping up and thanks so much again for watching. I really, really appreciate it and hope you're inspired. Thanks again. Bye.